is a city and also it's a county, but I'm in Taitung. I successfully rented a electric scooter, which ended up being like a pretty smooth process. For your information, I have a US driver's license, but just for regular vehicles. And I had applied for an international driver's permit which I had posted about in a short, so be sure to check out all the information there and also on my Instagram reels. I knew I could rent cars, but car rental is like much more expensive, especially for just one person. I don't have anyone to split the cost with. So I decided to rent a scooter instead because I learned how to ride a scooter when I was in Donggang. It's much easier to get around. Um, especially in the south of Taiwan where things are a lot more spread out. So the east coast of Taiwan is kind of underrated, honestly. Um, I feel like a lot of people, when they go to Taiwan, if they go anywhere, it's usually like to Hualien, Ilan, if it's on the east coast, if it's on the west coast, there's a lot more cities for people to visit and also the train is a lot more... Um, developed in that area as well mostly because two-thirds of Taiwan is mountainous so like t in order for them to get to this side it's a lot harder it's like a coastline drive and stuff like that so the scooter rental is really easy there's a ton of scooter rentals and car rentals around the train station I found a place that had pretty high reviews I asked them about the pricing and it didn't seem too bad it was one day was 500 but it's cheaper if you do it multiple days so I'm here for three days so three day rental for the scooter ended up being 350 per day which is actually pretty reasonable scooter rentals can range from anywhere from 300 to 500 per day it is a smaller size gogoro only one battery so i can't go super duper far i just have to be able to plan my routes a little bit more wisely to make sure that there are like battery replacement places where i can recharge all they required was my passport international driver permit a credit card to pay for everything but yeah it comes with a helmet they give you two but i only needed one so i gave back the other one because i wanted more chunk space it comes with a phone holder i am currently stationary so i am using this opportunity to charge my phone a little bit so i can navigate and then it's pretty easy the key card is just this and then you tap it to turn on can pop the trunk. You see the battery. It also comes with a raincoat. Enough space for my backpack, which is nice. I do wear my jacket when I am riding because of the wind. And then in order to start it, you just push the brake and the go button at the same time, and then you are ready to go. I'm really sad though that I don't have a GoPro or anything to shoot a video of what I see when I am riding. Maybe I can try to capture it with my phone while it's on the dock, but I will show you all the places I stop at. <laughs> Taidong is really known for being more like countryside, so it's more nature-y um, because it's a coastline, you get a lot of seaside views. Uh, so. Yeah, let's explore Taito! Falling to pieces in my room Are you coming over? That's cool I could use a little something to do We could go outside, take a little ride if you want So, one thing I am quickly learning with riding a scooter on uh, like open road is you should get the full cover helmet i got the half one but it's kind of big so it still like rides up and ends up not really covering my eyes so i resorted to using a mask so that you know things don't fly into my face also i'm really sad that the weather these days isn't the best it's been like cloudy and like kind of sort of rainy for this past week 
and I feel like it would be so pretty if it were like clear skies, you know. I am at the, where am I? At the train station? Supposedly one of the prettiest train stations um, in Taiwan. to take you with me. It's so cold. Writing. So even though it's supposedly like 80 degrees outside, it was cold because so I'm getting hot hot today. After yesterday I have learned that Riding on along the coastline means a lot of like wind and it's like cold and also with the humidity it makes your skin super sticky and then dirt and whatever random stuff fly that like comes flying at you while you're riding it like sticks to you so it's not the most pleasant feeling um, so therefore today I have decided to wear I also asked to switch out my helmet last night on my way back with a full helmet so that things don't come flying at my face while I am riding. Um, another thing that I have changed for better convenience is my jacket. I am trying out a hoodie today instead because yesterday um, the jacket that I usually wear for it's more um, it's like a dolmen sleeve style or like that sleeve style so it just kept on like flapping and it was like so much air um, so yeah I'm gonna try out these new things today to see if my riding experience is more pleasant wish me luck we are at Jalulan which is a I, I guess it's like a park I don't really know it says it's a scenic area but basically it's known for these art installations that they have from the indigenous or the aboriginal tribes in the area. On the way here, I did pass by another uh, like popular tourist spot, which is Xiaoye Liu. If you have done any sort of research for like Taiwan, Taipei, one of the like iconic things to do is to go to the Yeliu Geographical Park. I don't know, I think that's what it's called in English. But basically, it's a bunch of these rock formations formed from water. And like, it looks like different shapes and all that. But there's a little one, I guess, a little park with those types of rocks. You have to pay for parking, so. Being as cheap as I am, I decided I didn't want to do that. It's a fun stop. A lot of IG picture-worthy areas, but it was also just a really nice, like, open area to enjoy the views and a good, like, stopping point for a bathroom break. If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I felt this way I'm begging you to stay So 
I am currently at the Dulan Sugar Factory. Um, it's supposed to be like this cultural center with a ton of small shops, um, but it is currently kind of dead. It's not um, the most happening place. There's like a few coffee shops. There's a lot of workshops. Yeah, this used to be the sugar factory. So in Taidong area, they farm a lot of sweet sop or custard apple or shijia, so my favorite fruit, but it is currently not in season. But in the south in general, they also do have a lot of sugar. I think Tainan and Kaohsiung are mostly like known for their sugar export. As I was riding through, I felt more and more like Hawaii because there's more nature here and, and, and it's also like a tropical island. So there's a ton of palm trees. Um, and then there's the mountains and even the way that the clouds look with the mountains. It just feels very reminiscent of Hawaii. So on my way here, I missed the turn and like I was backing up on my scooter to turn in here. There was this car that came out and then they <laughs> literally as I was like trying to turn around, they were like, oh yeah, you should definitely go in there. It's so pretty in there. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. But it is really cool. They have all these little, um, I guess, art installment. I love how they have little like phone holders. Look at this. It's like ghetto, but it works. So ghetto, but it works. <laughs> it is starting to drizzle. All right, maybe I'll just head on to my next destination because there's nothing here and maybe it's not raining there. I wish I could show, but I never call And you're going all the way this year mm -hmm. It started drizzling again um, But I am officially at my last tourist stop, I believe um, It's called the San Xian Tai It's like this bridge that connects to this island But the bridge is currently under construction so you can't pass it, but you can still look at it. I'm sad that like the few days that I'm here, it's been so cloudy and like gloomy. If I could tell you, I don't think you believe how long I felt this way. Imagine on like a nice day. It looks so pretty. Oh. I'm like dreading going back home because I don't want to ride while being cold. Oh my god. And my phone lens cover started fogging up. So I couldn't even really take like good pictures. Hopefully tomorrow's weather is not like this. I decided to make a pit stop and eat some meat buns because I'm hungry. Okay, but this is such a pain to take off and put on. Ah! I should just take it off now. But look at my head. Also, while I was riding, I didn't know what to do with my hood because it kept on, the wind made a cold bag and it kept on choking me. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. And I don't know when you see, hope we feel the same. Breakfast. 
breakfast and I was gonna eat it at the seaside park but it's super windy today and also there's no seating here so I'm gonna head on over to another park to eat. I didn't plan on paying but you need to pay for parking at the forest park so I paid 30 because I didn't feel like trying to find somewhere else to go to eat. They also have bike rentals so you can ride around the park if you don't have a bike. So I didn't know that I ordered a Saoping Yu Piao and I thought it would be like this with the Saoping with the Yu Piao in the middle but it's the Saoping plus more Yu Piao so now I have a lot of Yu Piao but I also got a soy milk but I have low regrets because I had contemplated getting a fan pan which is like a rice burrito and I was like no 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 it'll be too much food but now I regret it because I kind of want to eat it. But anyways, this is a very classic Taiwanese breakfast. Um, the yo tiao is just basically fried dough. So it's really oily. And then the sao bing is like this flake pastry. Mm. I made a mess. Are we surprised? So good with the soy milk though. I don't wake up early enough for breakfast anymore these days. I only really woke up for breakfast my first week here because of jet lag. But I do I do want more of Taiwanese breakfast, especially the fan pan, the rice burrito. It's like my favorite thing. It's so hard to find in the US. Like even if there are places that make it, it's like super duper expensive. Whereas here is like a dollar you know mm -hmm. this is the, the price difference is insane it makes me not want to buy it when I'm in the US because I think there is a purple rice burrito place in Northern California and like Santa Clara but it's like eight to nine dollars for one that's like this big this big I don't know and then I never had it because out of principle I refuse to pay today's plan is and chill, eat, walk around, and then I want to go to the hot spring in Zipen. So Zipen is known for their hot spring. It is one of the largest hot spring water sources in Taiwan. So when I was looking up the resorts, all of them had like fairly big hot spring pools. So I'm excited to see what the facilities are like and most of them are outdoors too so you know I love my outdoors pool. Hopefully I can film the area and show it to you guys like I was able to in Guanzuling but we'll see. I needed to work for my hot spring experience a little bit today um, so I decided to come to this viewing platform that I had passed up on the first day I think it's like a water reserve or something that's why there are these big like things of water but the view is really really nice Something I forgot to mention is I decided to change my jacket again today because I was still cold wearing my hoodie yesterday and I thought that having a jacket that was more fitted to me would be better but then it, I guess the fabrication it wasn't really wind resistant so today I decided to use my puffer jacket and it is infinitely warmer so I should have thought of that earlier I was setting up my tripod to take one picture and I don't know where everyone came from but legit this horde of like aunties and uncles came in and like this group of girls they all were just like can you help me take a picture so I ended up helping take like pictures for like three different groups of people and then at least I got my shot and 
Yeah, now I'm gonna go to the hot spring. I was prepared to be underwhelmed because, you know, it's one of those IG photo spots, but honestly, it is worth the like 10 minute detour to come up here. hot spring that I went to technically also had the hot spring egg but I couldn't find where they were selling the eggs I think it was closed so they I saw the area that they had for it but yeah I don't know I really wanted to try it because apparently it's a thing to do so I'm not doing it and then I'm gonna head back into the city after um, the hot spring was quite nice the resort that I went to was kind of simple. It had like a few pools but not a lot of variety um, in the types of pools. It was relaxing. I found this place on Google because I just wanted to eat the meatball that's in the south because it's cooked differently from the north of Taiwan. In the north, it's usually fried in oil, but in the south, they steam it. It's more gooey on the outside, so I really wanted to try it. The owner is so nice! Oh my god! She's talking to me the entire time. She was telling me about like the different things that you can do here in Taidong. Super nice. Would definitely recommend going there. Um, food's pretty good too. Reasonably priced. <laughs> 